Alright, I wanted to make a love project about heart work commitment, what it means to have a heart work commitment, and the duty it calls a person into who is, in other words, finding the value of establishing a heart work commitment within their relationships. And if they can't get others within their heart work that they're willing to go into, um, my advice is to continue in your own heart work. Even if you're doing heart work alone, you're stronger and more formidable than you are if you're not doing heart work. And this is just in general. It has nothing to do with the business side of it or the vision I have or any of that. It's simply just saying that your prayer life is paramount in your life. And the kind of soil that you have your heart to be planting seeds in of, you know, the things that you want and you, you foresee in the world. You want to make things happen in a, di in a different way. And that's okay. Sometimes the best things are found through our indifferences, not through our similarities. But... In this, I just want to take you back to a time when relationships were built on that solid foundation of an old school craftsmanship that was built into their relationships where commitment was not just some fleeting emotion that could be challenged by another person stepping in uh, their pathway, but it's a commitment that's standing steadfast due to a lifelong duty that's built within you your foundation your way of love your way of love has to be paramount in the realm of heart work because it's a commitment to yourself first and foremost but where two souls join it's to create you two to be hand in hand to create an unbreakable bond together it's a sanctuary against the storms of life in the, heart, in the heart work of this commitment, relationships are fortified with sturdiest of materials, trust, authenticity, loyalty, and genuine, co and genuine compassion and care for others around them, and, and especially the ones that you say, I love you, to. The people you say, I love you, to, their hearts should matter the most. If they don't, that's not love. And that is what HeartWorks is out to protect people from, is that profound pain. So if you carry out that design, it's meant to withstand all of the attacks that can come throughout time and the challenges that may try to creep up into your lives. They aren't challenges at all. In other words, because it calls you to be accountable to the action of, of your heart work commitment, your value that you take into your relationships where it says that you are a stone, you are a rock, you are not movable in that way. I mean, yeah, a little rock, a little pebble, sure you can move, but you're like, you're a solid rock. You are not going anywhere. And you are, you know, like, you, you see these big, monstrous rocks. That's how you have to imagine your heart work being and only being built stronger and stronger. That is the call of, of heart work's commitments. And it's a commitment that basically takes things beyond the superficial, the skin deep, and the surface level interactions because it's safeguarding each other's wellness in every aspect of life moving forward emotionally physically spiritually and more mentally all the ways that you're supposed to be cherished and loved it's to guard those places of your partner and it's a call to act in that way accordingly because a lot of times I've 
personally been in situations where I felt that my heart hurt too bad. I thought that uh, I could have a heart attack if I just continue thinking. And so I had to quiet, I've had to quiet my mind. I've had to do prayer work in order to be okay in my own body. To be able to think that I could take that first love, the first heart I was born in, and take that out into the world. Because face the facts, your hearts get muddied up by what's out here in the world. And if you aren't discerning to see it, you aren't doing any kind of heart work or inner work, channeling work. But rather, you're ignoring everything that's calling you into action. And so, within heart work, it's, it's a call to grow together no matter where you stand in your relationship to another. It's a call to grow. It's a call to thrive in the nurturing embraces of having partners, having true camaraderie around in the in the communities that you create together with wherever you go in life it's it's a partner that says that they're committed to being true just being a good person and if you can't be a good person for yourself you're not going to be a good person to anybody else it's about building that connection that enhances every aspect of life providing a solid foundation for both individuals to flourish and to be able to share that kind of camaraderie that no matter who stands in the faces of that kind of adversity nothing can nothing can compare to a love that says they're not going to go anywhere a love that says they're not going to be broken or break away from their commitments love that shares that kind of commitment is the only place that it can actually share the smiles and the joy and the true kind of camaraderie that I think humans were supposed to feel but we're not and I wholeheartedly know each and every single one of one of you out there is not getting to experience that life to its fullest in that way because it's just been broken it's just a way of life that has been completely broken and I'm trying to bring that back with my heart work value and my heart work in that way that calls people to act in this sort of way because there's a lot of things out here that are meant to deceive you meant to set be set up to hurt you and it's in such a way that you're not able to even know you're not supposed to know that's why it's covert and people need to wake up and realize things and realize when things are going on you would rather know these things and make them overt than, than have any kind of covert attacks of narcissism happen to you because that's that's what happens anyway it's all about building that connection together with your partner and with the people in their lives and sharing who you are in that value of your own heart's value with others so that you know how to move with that person because some people you share that you're doing heart work and they're so afraid of doing heart work on their own or doing a channeling anything of their own heart's value in, the, in and of themselves that it calls them into accountability it calls them into action and they don't have it in them they don't have it created in them. They don't have it. Um, nothing has happened in, in their life that made them uh, work as hard as I've had to work, for an example, or go through things in a way that I've had to go through things. So until something happens in their own life, maybe they'll never do heart work. Maybe they'll never do that channeling work or inner work. But it is the kind of work that we need as humanity more of and not less of. And so I'm trying to bring that to the forefront of my charitable cause. And it's a reason that I believe together 
we could really make heart work be a really huge thing in the world. Even if it's a small movement, it can be, it can become super, like, super powerful, regardless who takes, who takes it upon them to, like, be a part of it, be a part of the social network, or be a part of the things that come into artwork as, as I build it, but as it goes on, it's just to navigate the journey together with your people, and and that I just want to share a few ways in which people can grow together with an artwork commitment if they want. Firstly, communication is key. Open and honest dialogue fosters understanding, bringing partners closer together. And secondly, support. Support is the backbone of artwork. You support each other, like building up pillars that you create together to create that unshakable alliance against all those trials and tribulations as they can unfold in your life. I mean, giving that, giving an example, I would have way have rather had been able to trust wholeheartedly um, long before anything has ever happened so that like long before anything had happened, I could have that kind of camaraderie I could have like you know a bunch of girls and a bunch of guys all get together and all of us are not smarmy and weird and fucking like the world all of us can actually go out and have fun and do things together because if if you're not doing hard work in that way I don't care if you're two people riding bikes together you're not going nowhere life is moving but as far as life lived yeah you're living it in a certain way but that's not living I don't care how you how you want to put the things together and consider that life it's not life so I'm navigating this journey because I've been through things. So that's kind of where I'm going and why I want to explain the hard work commitment. Because I don't think people understand what being committal means. Like, or being marriage material or even like finding yourself in such a way where you're like, oh, I'm not marriage material. I need to work on that. Well, what do you do? You do hard work. You do inner work, you do channeling work. Anyway, moving forward, thirdly is to be continually self-improving because the heartbeat of that commitment is just as individuals evolve, so does that strength of the relationship. As things come up and set up to attack you, you find that you're formidable in that bond. You don't find that you're, um, I don't know, dealing with someone that's obviously temporal that doesn't use that I don't know I have a habit thinking about it so I'm sorry to go off on a tangent there but I've just been sat inside of one of the worst mind frames that I've ever had to deal with so it basically was insinuations to shatter me in the worst ways and I really do think that someone that knows you so long knows you well enough to think that they have the keys and the buttons and the locks and the doors and whatever they need in fucking place to, to push for further damages so yeah there are times when the when betrayal rocks the very core of your heart work and it will rock you to the very core of your heart work if you're steadily committed to your heart work you can rest assured that stuff in this world and things that'll happen to you are going to hurt and rock you to the very core. So when you're faced with the pain on infidelity, on manipulation, 
and abuse. It's crucial to find strength within. This is where discernment becomes your shield, protecting your heart from many further damages. Because you realize that even though you're, I mean in a relationship, relationship, even though you're making love, you realize that the other person can't be and there's just no there there's no way to take that heart value back to where it was because it's already muddy this is where discernment comes in because you have to understand that to endure that kind of abuse to endure that kind of pain and knowing you deserve more than being treated as though you matter just so le so little to these people that in the midst of that betrayal and heartbreak heart work becomes your lifeline it becomes you to, urging you to do the right thing for yourself and for your partner but when your partner is not doing that heart work they're escaping heart work then you still have to know that it's an automatic enhancer to guide you through that tumultuous landscape that's within or whatever's been set inside of the murky of your relationship and whatever you're trying to figure out like someone threw a lot of mud in that in that clean water you don't have to drink from that anymore the commitment is a beacon of hope for those who have hearts that have been shattered in that sort of way and and sometimes it's in that sort of way that allows a person to just allow themselves to go off the deep end per se but coercing someone in that way for escape escaping uh reasonable uh <laughs> reasons to think that someone could be doing this behind your back it's not it, it's just to re remind them that you're worth more than that. Even you yourself, you're worth more than that, not less. And the places that some of these haters go to or deceptive little lures are willing to go to, then you have to know that what you're grappling with is, is just, it's meant to devastate you in such a way that Without you having that grind with God, I, I I wholeheartedly fear the people who don't have God because I think these people having these kinds of things happen to them are little literally the ones that are on the brink of suicide and are the ones that do commit suicide. So my goal here with heart work is a profound statement that calls people into action there into heart work and inner work and channeling work however you want to look at it you look at it with absolute respect to what you're going through and with the ways that you're feeling um, emotionally and spiritually all of them combined it's to clear up the confusion and reclaim your worth and it's an important aspect to your healing because heart work is then also a call to action on not only your own lives but everyone else's lives that are afflicted in the ways that you have been so it's a heart it's a heart work it calls you into heart work and if you're actually going to channel it into actual real work it's an important attempt that's going to save people's lives and to rescue those who feel pushed to the brink you are not alone, and through heart work we strive to show you that you are worth more than that pain that's been inflicted upon you. So together, let's build a love project that speaks to the wounded hearts, bringing them back into the grind without even ever having to say anything at all. Because within heart work, it's written in that silent strength that resides within each one of us working hard, tooth and nail to do the right thing within our own channeling, our own inner work, and what I've always called heart work. So I hope that you all do heart work and you introduce heart work commitments inside of your relationships and 
I believe that this is a profound move with where the world is going and with, I mean, I consider it a war move, truthfully, because of all the things that I've been through, my heart work coming to life is literally that. I want it to come to life in such a profound way that only I can imagine how beautiful it can be, but I think that other people can as well. And if you do heart work and you take heart work to the top with me, I can assure you this movement could become the largest thing in the face of the adversities that we're facing these days. 2024 is here and there's things going on in the world that need Christians and warriors to step up and I'm calling you out to step up. Rise within the heart work pride, commitments unbreakable in the love we confide in. Building solid foundations, old school design. Trust and loyalty, care in every single line. In our heart work warriors, standing side by side, guided by the light. Through that darkness tide, adding Christ into our lives. We're becoming fortified, malleable to the Holy Ghost on this holy ride. Become malleable in our heart works this time. Step up the game in the face of the evils that we stand up. Stand up to them. Heartworks movement spreading across that land. We're trying to make it go worldwide this time. Saving lives, enhancing commitments so bold. A beacon of hope in a world that's grown so cold. Heartworks commitments in a profound decree. No more love, let love set us free. When those are no more love, let love set us free. Taking up that cross and laying down those arms. No more war, no more hatred, no more reasons to take up arms. What for? It's a call to action against the coming wars. Heartworks value what we're fighting for. Joining the movement, artists, producers, and more. Let's take this heartworks to the top hardcore. Let it soar to the top of the highest heights and let it step up the game in the face of this adversity that we find in the world. Where war is ensuing upon our own world inside of the land, saving lives, enhancing commitments that taking up it so bold. A beacon of hope in a world that's grown so cold. You can feel it, you can see it everywhere that you go. How can you not feel that coming war? There's no more lies. Follow the commandments this time. Let love arise. It calls you to be inside that G's perspective inside of your mind. In a movement so grand. It's taking up that grind. So step it up now and take that stand. No idly ignoring the commandments we hear. Thou shalt not kill. It's the message to be clear. Period. No more believing in all of the deceitful lies. Heartworks movement, our love can be a beacon of hope and be the beat that set up upon these streets. So step up your game and join that fight for Heartworks commitments shining so bright. No more war, let love be your guide in this movement. Let love reside in that Heartworks value and step up your game. In the face of the ev evil that we find and the adversity we find everywhere in the world promoting war. Heartworks value movement spreading across the land, saving lives, enhancing the commitment so bold, setting down your arms so there's no more war. You're not able to do that war and fight for these people that are fighting you to be on the battlefield to fight. You don't understand the fight that you're fighting. Setting down those arms is a beacon of hope when the world has grown so cold. It's calling out for no more war, no more lies within a heart works commitment that love never dies. It's a call to the act, the action and a movement so true and so bold. So step up and let's make this brand new world of movement in a heart work movement so bold. So you'll listen up, 
it's time to step up and rise up to that game As artists and producers, let's reach for them skies Heartworks calling, a movement so grand, so worldwide Step it up now and let's take that stand Creating a river flowing, a rhythmic river of love As rapists, artists, let your talents deliver Crafting verses, let that beats inspire In the name of love, and the heart's on fire Step up as rappers, artists, and more In the heartwork movement, open that door Craft them lyrics, produce that beat and Spread the message hardcore Make the world feel it in the heat in the, in the heat and the beat on these streets Break them chains of hate and the rhyme and face the darkness and let your light shine And the heart works value in every single line It's a call to action because this is our time to shine As producers spin them tracks that resonate Creating the beats that reverberate Building that sound that breaks the mold In the name of love let your story be told Step it up as rappers, artists, and more in a hard work mover and open that door. From the underground to the mainstream, a hard work movement, unified dream for no more war. Let love prevail through our art, let's set sail. Let the flow of artists unite in the studio, underneath that stage and in the light. Heart work calling a revolution in that sound. Let's make the world dance in a love unbound. On a bound beyond the beats, beyond these rhymes. Spread the message in these times, trying times. No more idle minds, creating that storm inside. Creating heart works movement in every art form. Calling you to step it up, rappers, artists, and more producers, heart works, movement, open that door, craft them lyrics and produce that beat, spread the message and make the whole world feel your heat. So as we rap and produce, let the heart work values be our muse. Step it up now and we'll be we won't be knocked down. Through our art, love be sown, one heart, one day at a time. My goal is to make people feel this hard work.